Well, my name is Ron Gibbons, and I'm an OBGYN here in Somerville, and I uh, perform Da Vinci surgery. I was the first surgeon in Charleston to do a single incision Da Vinci hysterectomy. We've been doing hysterectomies with the Da Vinci system for nine years now, I think, and the single site technique came to Charleston about a year ago, and it's just a way to perform fewer incisions and still have an excellent result. Well, with Da Vinci, there, there are multi-port techniques where we use three to five incision, and then this, in particular the single incision technique. With the single incision, <clears throat> you can do surgery for endometriosis, removal of cysts, uh, removal of uh, tumors. We can do diagnostic laparoscopy single incision, which is a procedure to, to for example, help determine why women may be having pain. Um, so there's a variety of surgeries they can do. Comparing vaginal hysterectomy to uh, Da Vinci hysterectomy, particularly single incision hysterectomy, with vaginal surgery, one of the limiting features is prior surgery or presence of endometriosis, prior scarring, which may not be as much of a limiting factor with the Da Vinci technique because the visualization is so excellent. Patients with vaginal hysterectomy and Da Vinci hysterectomy tend to have less pain overall than uh, a traditional open hysterectomy, but in my experience, in nine years of doing this, I've seen much less prolapse postoperatively. Things falling down over time, so you see, we seem to see a lot less of it with the Da Vinci system. And with any surgery, there are challenges, and certainly there are risks and complications and, and the potential for complications that can occur. Um, learning the Da Vinci system from a surgeon's standpoint is, is time-consuming, and it takes a dedication to, to learn how to do it, and it requires uh, uh, additional training, uh, but it's uh, well worth it in my opinion. Thank you.